Hello, my name is Sami. I am a subspecialty registrar in urogynecology at the QE Hospital in Glasgow. And here I will be presenting a case series on total transobturator tape removals. These are our conflict of interest. Over the last few years, there has been growing evidence reporting serious and delayed complications associated with mesh tapes. That led to multiple safety reports and inquiries looking into the mesh complications. Management of these mesh complications include surgical removal of mesh. Surgical management of uh, mesh complications include partial removal of mesh tape or total removal of mesh. Here we present our data on total transobturator tape removals over three years period. We also aim to report uh, pain improvement and incidence of incontinence after mesh removal. Our study is a retrospective cohort study that looked at women who have a single transobturator tape who did not have previous excision surgery and who don't have preoperative confirmed perforation of the urinary tract system, and women who subsequently had total TOT removal in the period from 2018 to 2020, including both years. In this cohort of patients, we collected data on patients' background demographics. We also collected uh, perioperative data, preoperative pain score, and postoperative pain score as well as uh, their continence outcome at follow-up. In that period, 19 patients had total TOT removals, with mean patient age of 52 years old and mean BMI of 31. The picture below shows the blue tape identified in the adductor muscles in the groin through the groin incision, with anatomical picture next to it for your reference. If you are interested, we have a surgical video showing total uh, tape removal, which will be presented in the main uh, live session in the ICS conference. The main indication for mesh removal was pain, which was the case in all patients except one lady who had tape sepsis secondary to subureteral sinus, and that patient was actually pain-free. A proportion of women had mesh exposure uh, in 7 out of 19 patients, along with other clinical findings. Intraoperatively, urethral injury took place in one of the 19 patients. That was during uh, the excision of a chronic subureteral tract and the periurethral abscess. That was identified and repaired intraoperatively and covered with a Marshall's fat pad. The estimated blood loss in uh, all 19 cases was around 200 ml, and there was no uh, return to theater reported with any of these patients. The mean length of mesh excised was around 22 cm, and the mean hospital stay after mesh removal was around 2 years, ranging from 1 to 6 days. Due to the COVID-19 restrictions, 16 out of 19 patients have had follow-up to date. We are expecting to complete the follow-up for the rest of the patients over the next few months. And now looking at pain change after tape removal. 75% of patients reported complete cure or significant improvement of their pain after total TOT removal. However, 25% of patients reported no change in, the, in their pain, with one patient reporting even worse pain at follow-up. All 16 patients have completed the 10 points visual analog pain score at follow-up, and there was significant decrease in the mean pain score from 8.3 preoperatively to around 4.1 at follow-up which was clinically as well as statistically significant. However, it is important to interpret this data with caution 
give him the small sample size. And here we are looking at the recurrence of stress incontinence after tape removal. 82% of patients reported new onset or worsening of their stress incontinence after tape removal within the first year. With, with more than one, one third of this cohort of patients requiring another surgery to address stress incontinence. And looking at overactive bladder symptoms, 62% of patients reported worsening of their overactive bladder symptoms and went on to have further treatment, either medical treatment or Botox injections. Interestingly, two patients reported the improvement of their overactive bladder symptoms after tape removal. In summary, in the absence of sepsis and infection, significant perioperative complications are rare during total TOT removal. Of course, that's taking into account that these procedures are performed in a specialized mesh complication center. 82% of, patient, of patients developed new onset or worsening stress incontinence within one year of mesh removal with at least one-third of this cohort opting for further surgical management of stress incontinence. 75% of patients reported disappearance or significant improvement of their mesh-related chronic pain. However, 6% of patients reported worsening of pain after mesh removal. Thank you for watching our presentation and we are looking forward to your comments. Thank you.